Houston, we have a problem. Poco X3 Pros are randomly breaking. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And at Houston, we have a problem. And that is because Poco X3 Pro are randomly breaking. And this here is a post from the official Poco X3 Pro telegram channel wherein a developer or an admin of the group has bricked his device now feel free to pause and read what the post says of course all the relevant links which you need which we refer about in this video are linked in the description of the video now the purpose of this video is not to create panic it is to create awareness so again be patient stay calm do not panic and of course make sure you read the pinned comment i will try to answer all the questions in this video and if i miss any feel free to ask them in the comments i will answer them and i will also add them to the pinned comment so as to ensure that you do not have to wait for me to come online answer your questions so again make sure you read the pinned comment it has important things so for starters why is the device breaking nobody knows why it is breaking there is no definitive answer initially it started with bricks on stock miui 12.5 or miui 12.5 based custom roms that was initially and it happened with either a locked bootloader or an unlocked bootloader but yesterday someone bricked their device while they were on a rom which is based on aosp so which brings us to the conclusion that no device out there is safe it is totally 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 random but 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 the common denominator here is that most of them are in fact all of them as per the post were on 12.5.x firmware so their suggestion is to go back to 12.0 rom or use the 12.0.x firmware for flashing your custom roms for now stay away from 12.5.x custom roms and if you get that specific screen wherein you get the vertical lines on a white background make sure you you know take a backup of the important data which you have on your device because once it is bricked then there is no going back the only solution is to go to the service center and claim warranty so those of you who have already bricked your poco x3 pro go to the service center claim your warranty and that is the only option you have if you're not able to boot into fast boot mode or your custom recovery if you have an unlocked bootloader and you had a custom recovery installed next thing it has nothing to do with any specific kernel or any specific rom for now they haven't found anything common which would say that this specific rom or this specific kernel is causing the issue so again it is totally and absolutely random do not try to generalize it for now or put blame on any custom rom or any custom kernel out there and while we're talking about custom roms and custom kernels super important thing for you to remember is that you are doing this at your own risk any rom which you flash any custom kernel which you flash the probability of breaking your device is always there even though it is very rare it happens in very rare scenarios but it can happen doesn't mean you go ahead and start blaming the custom rom developer or the custom kernel developer and specifically for the x3 pro it is totally random and as you can see the first thing i did was downgrade to 12.0.5 now those of you who do have an unlocked bootloader and twrp installed we do have a video for you linked in the description of the video those of you who have a locked bootloader there is a workaround method again try it at your own risk linked in the description of the video as well and as i have mentioned in that specific video wherein you downgrade with a locked bootloader do not try to switch regions with a locked bootloader people do not like to watch videos they like to be spoon fed that is not how i roll that video specifically mentions do not cross flash regions when you're flashing or downgrading people still ask the same question which clearly shows they haven't watched the video so again please make sure that you listen very carefully as to what is being told in the video 
Next thing I would recommend is if any custom ROM asks you to flash a firmware based on 12.5.x. Again, double check with the developer, double check in the Telegram groups, Telegram channels if it is safe or not, because that is where you will get the latest information. Most of the custom ROM discussion development has moved away from XDA forums to Telegram channels and groups. So again, all the relevant links are in the description of the video for you to join those groups and channels for the POCO X3 Pro. So again, before flashing 12.5.x or 12.5 point firmware for any region, double check with the developer if they do recommend it and if you will have any issues if you flash 12.0.x firmware. Next up, how do you avoid this and what is my personal recommendation? My personal recommendation is there is no avoiding this because it has happened on locked bootloaders, it has happened on unlocked bootloaders. In my opinion, it is not at all related to flashing a custom ROM. It has got something to do with the 12.5.x firmware as they have mentioned in the POCO X3 Pro channel post. Now, do note POCO is ridiculous when it comes to customer care. The POCO X2 has an issue wherein the camera dies after a software update. They say 0.2% of users are affected, yet when you go to replace it, they don't replace it. They ask you for money and then when you lodge a complaint, they call you and say, oh, we'll give you a 50% discount. So they're trying to take as much money as you from possible. So again, this Diwali, I'm pretty sure after all these situations, what has happened with POCO, I do not recommend anybody to invest their hard-earned money in the poco brand my humble opinion two cents advice stay away from poco devices and yes i know this channel has grown because of the poco f1 but that doesn't mean i lie to you and sell you a device which i know might land you in issues so again my advice is stay away from poco devices their after sales service is pretty bad software they don't fix anything in fact with the recent POCO X2, the POCO X3 breaking, I think this is what happens when you rebrand devices without knowing anything. I think all they do is get the ROM from the international device, put in some India stuff and that's it without caring to test or anything. But that is my opinion. I might be wrong. But again, if I were you, I would not advise any of my friends, relatives to, you know, get a POCO device. Even though it might be cheaper, it might save you some money. but there is always the risk of you breaking it and spending more money in the longer run. So again, stay away from POCO devices for now until and unless they remove their customer care, the quality of hardware. I mean, POCO F1 touch issues, POCO X3 Pro, daily comments about ghost touch issues and now random breaks. So I think you are intelligent enough and smart enough to decide for your own as to what you should do and whether you should recommend this POCO brand to anybody or not.